Hello everybody, my name is Jason Harmon for your Tennessee's Wildcast. And this week we're in Spring City, Tennessee for the Chuck Coble Memorial Fishing Rodeo on Free Fishing Day. It's been a great event so far. Kids are having a great time catching a lot of big catfish. So we're going to check out the action and see if we can't uh, reel in some big ones. So stay with us. Now I'm catching a lot of fish. He yeah. hasn't caught any today, so we're hoping that maybe no we're going to switch our bait But now. what's kind of funny is that people in the ride are catching, and people in the ride are catching me. <laughs> Nothing right there. Huh. It's like a dead zone. I like the fish. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? The biggest fish. Can you show how big it was? <laughs> show them how big your fish was. Wasn't well, that big? <laughs> God, yeah. That's a big one. I didn't catch it, though. Who caught it? Nobody. Oh, I thought you caught one. That sounds like a fish story. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're here for the children, and it's, I love it. I think Spring City's done a great job um, to bring these kids out here. The way this got started, there was a, a gentleman named Jerry Cook here that lives in Spring City, and he did a, the way I understand, was a college intern program, and he had to do a, uh, an out-of-class project, and he actually got this uh, fishing rodeo started, and I'm not sure of the year, it's probably back in the late 80s, early 90s, and he had about 25 kids show up, from what I understand, the first year, and he came to, to Chuck and was asking him about maybe a little bit of help. And so we've grown from 25 kids in the uh, early 90s or so to roughly 600 kids now in 2009. This was Chuck's baby, so to speak. He loved this more than anything that we did and, uh, or, or do. And it's, uh, you know, if we don't have kids coming up to do this, then there's no sense in Tennessee wildlife being here. You know, it's because if the kids aren't coming up, buying license and supporting and going out and having time with her friends and family, then uh, Tennessee Wildlife wouldn't be here. And Chuck was a fisheries biologist with TWRA and got a lot of people in the community involved and a lot of people to donate things and it's grown into one of the biggest, if not the biggest event in the state. And uh, it brings in people from several counties and the kids get an opportunity to see what it's like to catch a fish. They got about 4,000 pounds of catfish and uh, two coves that are netted off. And, they got a great opportunity to learn how to fish and experience that first fish, get them hooked on fishing. Uh, it's wonderful. It's great. It's a good time for the kids and families. Family cake things. All right. Are you having fun? You like catching fish? Say so the town of Spring City does a wonderful job. All right. Good job, ma'am. You got it. Now raise your rod up. Right there you go. I just caught a really big fish. Let me take a picture. Oh, Mason got to take a picture. It's like 3D. <laughs> I think it's so fun for the kids. It's a great chance for them to come out and almost get a guaranteed fish, no matter what. Fish. Are you having fun? We've got cougar over here. All right. <laughs> Lord, <of> mercy. <laughs> it's for the kids. It's fabulous. I love coming here, and the children love it as well. It's just great, and Spring City does a great job. It's great. We come every year. This has probably been the most we've caught this year. Good. We're in a different spot than usual. So. <laughs> this might be the honey hole here. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> 